Hello, I am Tim Reichen. I am at Dartmouth Hitchcock Medical Center. I'm the chief of neurosurgery there. I've been involved with spine surgery since my training back in the 1990s. I've been using the TCS system for about three years, I believe, two and a half to three years. The, the fusion rate radiographically is evident just looking at the x-rays on those early post-operative studies, it's, it's, it's quite dramatic, particularly compared to peak. Initially, when we started using the TCS uh, system, the, the screws are implanted and there was no locking mechanism for them, which often concerns surgeons. So the addition of the locking plate adds very, very little to the profile of the system but it assures you that the, the screws are not gonna back out. Most of us, if we're gonna have these type of procedures, we're gonna have a one or two level, very standard anterior cervical discectomy infusion. These cages are suited perfectly for those. The ideal patient for any of these standalone type of products is the, the single level discectomy in a young, healthy person that doesn't have angulation, doesn't have excessive kyphosis. The outcome from ACDF surgery is pretty good anyway, but I think what we're looking at is the efficiency of the surgery is, is better. I think we're getting patients out of the OR quicker, and that also is a significant um, impact on our patient outcome. I do solidify my procedures with biologics, and, and the recommendation that I have is to use demineralized bone fibers. I think the titanium uh, design of the TCS, in particular, allowing that additional centerpiece for the bone graft um, and the surface technology, the interface with the natural bone is particularly appealing from uh, the biologic standpoint. This is exactly what we want to do, is create the bone surface interface using our newer technology uh, to create that interface to um, achieve the outcomes that we're really after. And so this was just a natural progression. It makes total sense that the bone is gonna grow to a surface that it identifies with. The impact of this system has really significantly changed our practice. We really can take two or three cases and we can get three or four done in a day. It's more efficient, we, the exposure is faster. I feel very confident that we do not need the addition of uh, anterior plate or anything else. So I think it, it, it's really come down to efficiency and it's improved our practice from that standpoint.